Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Karen. I'm a lefty who loves fountain pens, writing, journaling, hobonichi, and all of that good stuff. So if you haven't already, hope you can subscribe and join my small planning, writing, journaling community. Okay, so in the Philippines, we have these online platforms that usually have monthly like sales or promos. And I took advantage of one from Shopee and they had the 10 10 sale. So on the 10th of October, they give out a lot of vouchers, free shipping, cashback, and all of that. So I had a good amount of cashback and I got some free shipping vouchers. So I decided to uh, get this, yeah, this package. And, you know, sometimes sellers have a no video no return or no refund policy you know just to also protect themselves and i just want to take advantage of doing this unboxing and haul with you guys so from the title you can see that this is a pen haul this is not fountain pens these are your basic ball pens roller balls gel pens and all of that so let me open this package while i tell you about you know what i've thought about or reflected on the past couple of weeks okay so this is from shopee and i will link down the name of the shop um it's called pens by cali patty so she sells a lot of pens and journaling and accessory uh writing accessories so this is what the box looks like and since these are pens, I also want to do a quick pen test here at my, here in my Hobonichi Weeks. Let me just cut this up and... Okay, so she got me some freebies as well. Are these stickers? Yeah, I think these are stickers. I can use them for my techos. Yep. And yeah, I love it when sellers give some freebies. These are really just cute, you know, just to spruce up your journal. And then this one. Oh, this is a mini notebook. I don't think this is... Um, yeah, this is just regular paper, uh, mainly for pens and pencils, maybe not for fountain pens. But yeah, this is a very nice, you know, notebook on the go. And I always love me a cup of coffee. And yeah, these are the pens that I got. <laughs> and a bit of um, some refills, but let's go through them. And I'll share with you a brief description of what they are. We will go through them one by one. But um, maybe we can start with these refills, you know, just to get them out of the way. I got here the Sarasa refills. Okay, so this is a mark on. 0.5 mm in black and then i got my favorite sarasa dry 0.4 so i got two blacks and one blue okay so these are my staples you all know that i love my sarasas they're my og go-to pens ever since yeah ever since college i think and then i just these ones I got for my dad. <laughs> my parents also love the Zebra Sarasa, but they prefer the 1mm. They really like those, you know, thick lines for writing. And these are not readily available in your usual brick and mortar stores like national bookstore so i always have to get these online it has a thicker you know point they always 
run out faster. Okay, so. All right. So let's start with the pens that I have. And you need all of these pens. No, not really. These are wants, not needs. I mean, you can live with one pen and a lot of refills. Okay, let's proceed with what I got. Just to let you guys know, these are all Sarasa pens. And no, I'm not sponsored. I bought them with my own money. But I had help from Shopee vouchers and cashback. And yeah, so I got a pretty good deal out of this. The first thing that I got is this Sarasa clip. It's black. It's your basic OG pen, but it's in the 1mm um, thickness. So this one, I keep a lot of these in our kitchen. Um, this is what we use to write grocery lists, you know, recipes. If you need to write some messages on the phone, um, this is an OG staple, at least in our house. So this one I got for the home. Um, this is everybody using the Sarah Sa clip. Okay, it's here. The next pen is the Sarah Sa Mark On, and it's in the blue and the 0.5 mm. So something about the Sarah Sa Mark On is that these will really stand the test of time in terms of smudging and using highlighters over it. So this is really great if you're writing notes that need to be highlighted on. And I know not a lot of um, pens can really, you know, have that crisp writing after you put the highlighter on. A lot of people tend to highlight first and then write over it. But if you have this Sarasa mark on, you can just write as per usual and then highlight over it and... The claim is that it will not, you know, smudge with the highlighter um, ink. It can stand up to highlighting after just 5 seconds on the page. So this has great water resistance and adherence to paper than your typical gel ink. So this is really good if you're studying, you write down a lot of notes, and you work with a lot of highlighters. And speaking of studying, uh, Zebra also has the Sarasa study pens. And it says that it's designed to motivate good studying and is actually endorsed in prep and tutoring schools in Japan. So the markings on the cartridge reveal how studious you are, I guess, with how much you write notes with, and can be seen through the clear body of the pen. It also shows the percentage of ink used, so as when the ink level drops, there's a sense of achievement in terms of using up the refill, and I like me those kinds of motivations. And it says here that the ink is non-erasable, which means you are more inclined to avoid making errors, which leads to greater concentration skills and more refined thoughts, since you have to think more carefully before putting pen to paper. So it's also good for fast note-taking and it's reliable Sarasa pens and inks. They don't skip um, unless you really store them for a long time um, lying flat. I've had that experience. So I tend to store them with the tip facing down. So even if you haven't reached for it um, in a long time, it can still write smoothly. So I'm trying these two pens. This is the first time that I got the Sarasa Study. And I got it in the 0 0.5 for both black and blue. The next three are my favorite. This is the Sarasa Dry and I highly recommend this for lefties. I already have a Sarasa Dry in the 0.5 black. That's why I got here just the blue in the 0.5 and I got two 0.4s, one in blue and one in black. As the name suggests, this features dry gel ink technology 
And since this is dye-based, it dries 85% faster than conventional inks and won't smear even if you run your hand over it immediately after writing. So this is a very good companion for um, left-handed people or basically people who just uh, tend to scribble down notes and, you know, you forget to write over it. So this is something that um, a lot of left-handed people swear by, and I swear by this too. Unfortunately, it's not readily available in the usual uh, physical stores or the bookshops, but there are a lot of these in the you know, online selling platforms. And if you do have the chance to go to Japan, you can just buy, you know, a lot of these or refills and they can fit in your standard Sarasa clip bodies. So they're basically just the same. So it's good for jotting quick notes and you don't have to worry about ink transferring to the opposite page or, you know, smudging um, your hand. So these are my tried and tested Zebra Sarasa Dry pens. The next on my list are the Sarasa Nanos. So this is quite new to me. This is the first time I've seen one and bought one, of course. <laughs> And I'm really intrigued by the, the tip of the pen. So this is point three. So it says here that the Nano is perfect for precise writing. Its point three mm tip is cushioned by an inside spring to absorb shocks as you write, keeping the tip smooth and steady despite its small size. Like other Sarasa clip pens, this pen contains a water-based pigment gel and the color is vivid and it's also smooth flowing. So the ink delivers consistent crisp lines, it is feather resistant, water resistant and has high light fastness. It also claims this is of archival quality, the ink rather, and it's also known to be fade resistant. So I really got intrigued by this one, um, especially that I'm doing a lot of memory keeping. I realized that, you know, I should be using archival inks instead of, you know, fancy uh, water-based fountain pen inks. So yeah, that's something that I've realized over the months that I have been journaling in my five-year techo. And just to let you know the fun colors that I got here, um, most are really in the blues and the greens. This is a green black. The next one is a night blue. Call it night blue, but um, it looks more turquoisey to me or tealy to me. The next one is blue. So this is just your straight up color blue. And the last one is a dark blue. Okay, so this is dark blue and then this is night blue. That's a very interesting way of naming your colors. Um, one thing I noted here is that these silicone grips here, they tend to really attract a lot of dirt and lint. And you can already see it here in the nano pens. Not so much on the other Sarasa pens, but this one more than the others. Okay, so that is a lot of pens. And the last one that I will be sharing are these Sarasa clips, but they're they're what you call vintage pens, if I'm not mistaken. And these are all in the 0.5. I usually am an extra fine writer, but I guess that's 
mostly for fountain pens, for gel pens and you know ball pens in general, I'm generally okay with using up to 0.5 mm in thickness. 0.7 and 1 mm is quite thick for me already and I tend to use that when I need to you know sign documents, write in checks, you know it's more bold, it's more deliberate and yeah, sometimes my signature looks good in broad, thicker lines. Okay, so these are what you call vintage pens. And this is basically a Sarasa clip with a different, you know, packaging and look and feel to it. So this features chic subdued ink with a matching pen body. And it also contains water-based pigment gel ink. So it's also vivid, smooth flowing. And, you know, Sarasa clips, they rarely skip. Okay, so sharing with you the colors of the pen. So the first one is a green black. Let's we can compare it with how the uh, dark green color from the Sarasa Nano looks like. And then I also got the Bordeaux purple. So this is like a plummy, plummy shade. I think this is also good for writing. I also got the blue gray, which is a very interesting color. Um, I hope it writes well. Next is the camel yellow, and this kind of reminds me of kare kare. Um, and this is also like a caramelly color. I think this will look good in really stark white paper and the last one is a brown gray so it's the first time i've heard of such color and i look forward to using it So this is the pen test of all the Sarasa pens that I got from this Shopee haul. And let's start with the Sarasa clip. So obviously this will be very, very thick and bold just the way my parents like it. Um, this is a no fuss black color. And then for the Sarasa mark on, I tried using a zebra mild liner. I don't know if you can see it, but there's still a bit of smudging here. I don't know if I should have let it um, dry a bit more, but I will, you know, experiment more. Look at, you know, how well these mark on claims are, at least for my use. Um, next is the Sarasa study in the black and blue. Um, honestly, I don't think they're any different from the usual Sarasa clip uh, gel inks. It's just that the body of the refill has those, you know, indicators in terms of how frequently you're using it. One thing I've noted in the Sarasa dry is that the blue is much more, I don't know, more vivid than the ones from the study and the mark on so i don't know if you can see it it's more vivid a more sharper blue whereas the study is leaning more towards the indigo yeah our purpley shade of blue maybe you can see it more in the 0.5 mm so it's really really that saturated blue color and then moving on to the Nano, I am super happy with how the writing experience is. 
I've noted the springy quality when I write uh, using the Sara Sanano. And I really like the shades that I chose. So these aren't your usual blacks and blues. But really, I got the green black, the night black, which is very much similar to a teal color. And then the blue is not as uh, saturated, but I think that's also, I mean, that's fine. And the dark blue, which is like a blue-black for me. Overall, I think I can use this in my five-year techo. Um, for me, it's just the right amount of thickness in terms of um, how similar it is with my extra fine fountain pens. And then the last part, which are the Sarasa Clip Vintage in the 0.5mm. I know that there's a 0.4, but I decided to use the 0.5 just in case the ink tends to be on the lighter side so that it's much more forgiving if you use a wider or a broader you know, tip. So yeah, I think I made the right choice by using a 0.5, especially for the blue gray the camel yellow and the brown gray for the bordeaux purple it just reminds me of a like a red red black shade um yeah and also the green black um i think it's a bit comparable to the nano but of course the green black in the 0 0.5 mm is much more you know saturated so that is it you guys what do you think about this sarasa pen haul and there you have it these are all the pens that i got from the 1010 sale from shopee and i got 16 pens i've allowed myself this time to use fountain pens in the office but as the months progress a lot of times in the office setting there is a need for me to scribble, you know, keep up with uh, the thoughts that are being discussed, the ideas. I felt like I didn't have the luxury of using my fountain pen and expecting it to dry quickly. So as a lefty side writer, I tend to smudge over my notes and it just really frustrates me to the point that a lot of times I have a lot of pages that are just really messy because of fountain pens. And I've also come to realize that for journaling, especially if I need to do memory keeping, I need to use permanent archival inks. And I've decided and allowed myself to use gel pens and fountain pens interchangeably. And there is no shame in that. I think I need to embrace the writing instruments that I'm comfortable with. And even if that means I don't need to use fountain pens on a daily basis, I have to accept that. I hope you found this video enjoyable, informative. Um, if you're also a lefty who struggles using fountain pens, I hope this will not deter you from using it. Um, I think we just have to realize that we need a bit of everything in our lives. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!